This is a CBS 4 News update. Hi, I'm Elliot Rodriguez with the CBS 4 News update. Iran has issued a warning to the United States that any action against Tehran will face an immediate answer. It comes as Secretary of State Mike Pompeo heads to Saudi Arabia. U.S. officials say they are 100 percent confident the weapons used in the attacks on Saudi oil facilities this past weekend were made in Iran. According to one official, the attacks involved more than 20 drones and nine cruise missiles. The administration is now considering a military strike or a cyber attack against Iran, although diplomacy does remain an option. A prominent Democratic donor was arrested after a man overdosed at his home in California. Ed Buck has been charged with operating a drug house and providing drugs to a 37-year-old man who suffered an overdose last week. The Los Angeles District Attorney's Office says Buck injected the victim with methamphetamine. The man survived. Two other men were previously found dead in Buck's home in recent years due to meth overdoses. And if you don't know what to make for dinner tonight, how about a burger to celebrate National Cheeseburger Day? You can make the classic burger at home or go to your favorite burger joint. For vegetarians and vegans, there are popular options now like Beyond Meat and the Impossible Burger so you can still celebrate. Many national restaurant chains are offering deals today to celebrate. Now, CBS4 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. Craig Setzer and Weather Control, where we are looking at the water vapor projections of the atmosphere. Now, why is that important? Because it indicates our rain chances, and there is some drier air coming in behind a weak cold front that will drop temperatures for your Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But the dry air doesn't stick around because tropical moisture comes back in, especially by Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, pushes the moisture, pushes the dry air out and brings pretty high rain chances for the weekend. Uh-oh, that's not good. Anyway, here's the way the forecast looks taking us through the weekend temperatures a little bit below normal for a change highs in the mid to upper 80s lows in the mid 70s pretty breezy to windy at times and the best rain chance Friday Saturday and Sunday the way it looks now and plus of course we're always watching the tropics three systems out there one of importance for us that's Jerry down there of course we'll have the latest on that Elliot Craig, thank you. And that's our news for now. You can always find us at CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all the day's important headlines. I'm